Welcome back everyone, welcome back to my channel Bit by Bit. Today I'll be talking about why, why is the TV turned off? Because you're useless. Yo, turn on the TV, I'm trying to make a YouTube video here. No. Turn on the TV! Ah! Don't yell at me! Okay, that's much better. So today I'll be going over the events that has occurred in the past week that sent Ripple prices to the moon. So if you watched my last video, which was posted about a week and a half ago, the price of Ripple at that time was about 25 cents, and currently it is at 72 cents. So why the sudden spike? There are many reasons for this spike and here are some of them. Number one, the partnership with credit card company American Express. American Express is looking to offer instant blockchain based payments. The company's chief information officer has said the following once a partnership with Ripple has been finalized. American Express has a long history of integrating new technologies. The collaboration with Ripple represents the next step forward on our blockchain journey, evolving the way we move money around the world. Number two, the testing of the Ripple networks on Japanese banks, which started on December 15, 2017. The Japanese are jumping on board with financial technology and has partnered with Ripple to do so. The Japanese are aiming to achieve same-day international fund transfers while cutting down costs by nearly 30% with Ripple. The CEO of SBI Group, so SBI Group is a financial service company group based in Tokyo, tweeted the following recently. Wow, XRP at all time high. Forget about Bitcoin, we're all in on XRP. And number three, the 55 billion escrow. I'm sure all of you following Ripple has heard about the escrow, so I will explain briefly what it means. Ripple took out 55 billion XRP coins from the market and locked it up. They have established 55 contracts of 1 billion XRP each and each contract expires on the first day of every month. So every month they will be releasing 1 billion XRP and from that 1 billion XRP that was unlocked for that specific month, if there remains any XRP, it will be sent back to the escrow. This has been done to better manage the XRP supply and keep a steady price. A few things to mention that is happening with Ripple right now. So Bloomberg has added Ripple to its thermal service, which is used by major banks and investment houses worldwide. And Ripple just hired Facebook's communications manager, Tom Chanik, to serve as its own head of communications. So my question to you guys is, do you think Ripple will be able to hold the price of $1 or will it go back down again? And this is for all those who sold the Ripples at 30 cents because they thought Ripple would go back down to 25 cents. If you guys have any questions, please comment below, share this video, and subscribe.